Hi, this is Carl with Small Biz Thoughts, and I'm here with another SOP video for managed service providers. And today we're going to do part one of two parts on hiring your first employee. Now, most of you are tempted to hire a technician as your first employee, and that's because you think that your job is about technology. If you're an IT service provider, your job is about business. It's about providing service. It's about the big picture. And so you divide your time evenly between sales, service delivery, and administrative work. So once you hire somebody, the, the amount of administrative work that you have to do is going to go up. So I recommend universally that your first hire should not be a technician. It should be an administrative person. I've written a blog post, you can go find it, called The $200 Miracle. And basically, it's about hiring somebody for 20 hours a week at $10 an hour, that's $200. You would be amazed at how much work disappears when you get a good administrative assistant. They can do the billing, the invoicing, they can take payments, they can make deposits in the bank, they can send out newsletters, they can do all kinds of stuff. And even if you have to pay them 20 hours a week, they will take away at least 10, if not 20, of your hours, and that leaves you more time to do other things, in particular, sales and service delivery. So even though a tiny sliver of your work is now going to include administering your one employee, you'll have more time for sales. So the classic way that I like to see really small technical organizations grow is to hire an administrative assistant first. That allows you to do more service delivery, bring in more money, and eventually when you do enough sales, then you're going to need to expand. Then you hire a technical person. The technical person is now going to massively increase your capacity to deliver service. So now you can spend your time going and doing sales, 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 sales. There's a great temptation by many IT pros to go hire a salesperson. The problem is almost no one can sell as well as the owner. So you should really do that sales yourself until you get to be a pretty good size organization. Eventually over time what's going to happen is the administrative part of your job is going to grow, the sales part of your job is going to grow, and the technical part of your job is going to get smaller. So eventually, once you have a really good admin, you're doing the sales and a little bit of technical work, you're sort of the, the ultimate uh, um, person for technical support, and then you've got one person who's a full-time technician. I believe with modern tools like Macs or other RMM tools, you should be able to support 500 to 1,000 desktops with just those three people. Now, that means that you need to put administrative work to the admin. You need to make sure that you know what's technical and what's not. Don't have your technical person doing things like creating accounts at Microsoft because that's an administrative task. It's not a technical task. So you have to sort of figure out how you're going to make it work. But that's what I recommend for really small companies that need to grow. Hire the admin first, then the tech, and you, the owner, do the sales. Next time we're going to talk about some very practical considerations of your first hire and your second hire and how the math works around some of that. In the meantime, I wish you all the best in your managed service business.